Wait, you need to go for all ins with your blazing duet. Yeah. Let's see here. Will Kyrie take revenge? He will take the first blood. A good engage now. Kabuki will not escape with that. It's been exploited way before, and it can happen again. Keeping up in the first phase as well, and now on esports are. Of course, in my opinion, compared to the Beatrix, if you make sense, and wow, what are so Ferris and now Eve? <laughs> Consider our fire. The composition has a lot of AOP. Huh? It has no counter so far in the composition that Aura Fire has brought, and they do exactly. It can be picked up, and now we're really seeing Kabuki's hero pool being fleshed out, right? I love it. You want it in game number two, right? Choose something like the Marinus against something like the Paquito. But against the Hayabusa, that's where things get a little bit more tricky. And Haya versus Dawn. Let's see here for the epic conclusion. Well, CW has actually opted for the Inspire here, so very aggressive, even against how much CC or a fire has. Here as well, right? Kyrie actually opted still for the high and try. Still gonna look for those ganks early on, and if he doesn't utilize that proper, this is exactly what they did it in for, and unfortunately for uh, very vulnerable to these bully heroes. I really like how our fire really respects the composition of that, or really respects Joe. Bringing two purifies now, Kyrie engaging high here, not level four just yet though. Oh, it's more than enough to get Sonic that first blood. If you had to choose, right, the Ling or the Hayabusa Ben, which one would you opt for? Because I think the Hayabusa on Kyrie is way stronger. And here we go again. Oh, he wants to double the key boy. Unintentionally picks up the kill. On it still with the heavy, heavy moment. Just does not play. It's coming into frame with the strong side now. Kyrie even, and even the Spear of Misery. There, right there, always ready to make him win it. these skirmishes, these duels. And Chai, on this clock, you're not going to be able to win out in these trades. You need to go for all ins with your blazing duet. Yeah. Let's see here. Will Kyrie take revenge? He will take the first blood. A good engage now. Kabuki will not escape with that. We're Dragon connecting very, very on point. Yeah, our fire will not have the manpower to fight back. Fluffy use this flicker. I know. Pop that. Fatalize oh. onto his keyboy again. Not enough source of damage on it winning that trade. Our esports, they're angry and Facebook are gonna get the brunt Goodness. of all of the anger. Goodness me. Whoa, Fluffy. In under the turret boots. What the heck? Now high though will catch boost. Will he survive? Oh. One HP! There you go, face sucker securing the kill. What, what the heck is going on, Tide? Will he be able to juke that one? Three on now on the Manhunt. Oh, oh no. the juke of the day falls to Tide there. Keyboy with that wave of dragon just on towards Kabuki, though. But what a juke. What a beautiful play from Tide, the man that we've been doubting. But here, it's still Kyrie, who secures the purple buff with the help of the roller high. Whoa! Yeah, he gets taken down there. I mean, what a read by Chai on towards the last Kage. Oh, this is looking brutal for Aura Fire now, right? On a esports, they're so angry in this game. They're being the recipient of that shadow kill here. But now, Keyboy moves onto his face. So, Grisil has that purified Chai, though, will pop that blazing duet. Also, just to clear, no casualties on the board. Again, man, Kyrie on a signature pick is just absolutely. Absolutely phenomenal. No misses so far in the mechanical plays as well as he goes in on top. Oh my god, CW now mounts it. But Fluffy takes a lot of damage. Hi though, we'll find CW face out here claiming that kill. Kabuki is he overextending. Kabuki will es not escape that one. Oh my god, Kyrie catches one. Shadow kill, triple kill. And the fourth minute of the game, the yellow porcupines in game number three are not messing around. And another kill might happen here. Top side, e boy finding that one. This is a 9 to 2 game here in the first five minutes of the game. Wow. And it's already this bad for Aura Fire.
They want a little to for free. With that in mind as well, NCW already has that golden staff, and that is another pickup that Onyx Esports can utilize here. And we're not even in the mid game yet. What's interesting is the way Onyx are actually utilizing CW here. The gold minions haven't actually, you know. Oh my god, wait, Aura are actually coming on to boost. Oh my god, what a flicker! Wait, Onyx grabbing the mid base turret. That is gonna hurt Aura Fire. Yeah, again, yeah, back to my point. CW lane swapping with boots very early on before the fifth minute will basically mean that boots has got a bit more gold than uh, Fluffy and. For CW, he's got a little bit more experience than Chai. He has a level lead, and this is actually a pretty good play because they've already taken a turret down below. Another air strike combined with Way of Dragon. Julia will pick up that kill. Key boy now will find Jet Kundo again, perhaps. A Fluffy trying to zone the members. Boost to the back side. Take a look at Kyrie finding a kill. Take a look at CW as well. Finding another kill in the back side. Chai surviving that one as Kyrie will die in the process. The Buki low HP will survive as Boots. Necessary for Boots to go in for that aggressive kill onto Aura Fire. Seeing as how far they are ahead. I think it was super necessary. They need to establish really? dominance in this game. <laughs> Boots died, so the momentum wasn't created. But it's confidence. No. <laughs> Overconfidence, maybe game number two. Yeah, I mean, Kyrie is two levels above Kabuki, so I'm sure that shows confidence right now on the esports with the 5,000 gold in Kyrie. Maybe Andres Fluffy here, just teasing him a little. Let's see though, two minutes. Oh my god, top side key boy trying to find perhaps an opening. My goodness, how Onik is very different game too. I think it's the same Onik, honestly, just the way that they're playing is a bit more disciplined. Oh, last shoes force there. Feather is right. A lot of damage Kabuki though in the flanking position. Trying perhaps to find an opening. Fuzzy now trying to open the map. We'll pop that split split on towards Keyboy, but no commitments again for both teams. Still, both teams playing it really slow. Onik now understanding that there are no neutral objectives. We'll back off and look this high for match. Trying to buy or get some space for his team towards a purple pop. Kyrie has the red free. Might just be a 50 50 battle right now. And it boom. Kabuki gets it. This might be two levels down. Wow. Keyboy pop that way of dragon, but Kyde will have that purify. We'll pop that purify now. Still on a Esports now already in. The jungles of Aura Fire. My goodness, Aura Fire has zero or little to zero space. Yeah, zero space, right? The jungle in the top was taken over by Onyx Esports. The bottom was heavily invaded by Onyx Esports as well. They were able to get a buff at least for Kabuki, but other than that, it's looking bleak. Aura Fire, though, with Face Hunter already getting that Ice Queen won, it could potentially be the answer if Onyx Esports continue to group up for team fights in the jungle. They might be able to capitalize if, if they do have an ask for Drion in the back line. Good luck, though, right? Good position already. Going in on the field, forcing the wings by wings, that's a very valuable resource. But Fluffy is committing onto this all alone, isolated from his own team. Now, this might be the trigger that Onik needed, but goodness, that split split is a little bit too fast for Onik to commit. Power of fire now, looking for the right opening. My goodness, CW committing onto his Fluffy, I was wrong. Getting the kill. And it's just 5 v 4 Aura Fire will not contest. Keyboy figuring away. Aura Fire regathering, recollecting, regrouping in the mid side. As you have on a Kyrie, your Kyrie will just come in on towards the board. I mean, to be fair, there it does. It did seem like Fluffy was trying to buy some time for. There you go. That's a hot cause, though. It's still not something like one of nature. It's more of an offensive item that helps the Moscow with the lifesteal that's already present with his passive. See the offense. Drion popping that feather airstrike. Hunter's Fluffy just to zone out again. And the Lord is just level one, so no charges. But top side, also teased by Kyrie. But of course, all inner turrets will be taken down. All three lanes are collapsing at the same time. On Esports were able to clear really well. It's looking bad for Aura Fire, but let's see their defense once again here. Will they commit to this? Is the question, right? I mean, all lanes 
has been managed by our fire technically. So only the sports they seem to just lower down their pacing here in the mid game. You know, you were saying this. This is very repetitive. It is looking bad for Aura, but it did look bad for Aura in game two when they actually got the comeback, right? So Aura Fire somehow, I think they enjoy being just behind here because they are able to look for these 50-50s without risking the lead that they have. And look, it's happening again. B-Boy, slight overcommitment now. Will he find his oh, place? Sucker. Will he executed by Boots? Will be traded back by the Roman though, not Kyrie. We can watch Shadow trying to find a play. Is not quite connected just yet. So boot again, boots again, trying perhaps to find the right target. A good disengage from both team. Proper amounts of respect. You're up against a better here coming into the later stage because it also adds in the slow. So he's utility on top of damage and he doesn't need the sprint as usual. And in addition to that, you can see from the side of Drio and right, he instantly made that holy crystal. It's one of the most expensive items in the game and it's also very risky usually you want to go for more penetration first before you go in for full magic power but because they're so far ahead for the lead they have the confidence to do so but expect that they really need that penetration item as soon as possible for the damage to kick it off oh barely gets out there barely gets out there yeah but that's information though right if you don't like shoes Perhaps they might make a move on to a space under now. B-Boy not in the mix. Spectre of his right on to retire all insta a health HP. They need to take consider that as well. And now our fire though in a proper, in a good uh, place, position for commitment on towards Lord. And there you go, Kabuki securing the second Lord. Going right now, they are looking for a fight. Looking for the fight. They don't like Max. No follow-up damage just yet. Kyrie though. Connecting the Shadow onto his Kabuki is still a, a good uh, purple buff. Maybe Kyrie should have been sent into the bottom side so that at least they are going to be able to pick up a base turret. Boots has transitioned from the early damage build that he's gone for. Now he is a semi tank and he won't be able to put that much pressure into the turret with the siege potential being super low. Now we're seeing it. Kyrie's split pushing into mid lane, but he just might be caught here. So he has to call Shadow. He jumps back in actually. Almost there, but top side, Evo trying to harass Tide, who is quite low. But no. For the hundredth time. I guess over fire, they gotta learn to live without it as they are trying to put pressure here in the mid side. They're looking for some compensation on the board. But they have to be careful here. The positioning coming from Keyboy is really real. Oh, fluffy. Oh my god, Kyrie built that endless battle. Yeah. So I guess that negates the wind of nature from uh, Tide, no? A bit, right? There's a bit. a bit of true damage down to the mix, so if Tide actually pops into nature a bit late, that's gonna be Kyrie um, basically punishing him even more with the true damage built in. And look at that fluffy! Wow, that's the mortality pop! Mortality pops here, no real engagement after that. You boy flicker with Dragon Ultra's high though. Not really well with Kai in the back side with that blazing duet. Trying to damage and look at CW on that mana hunt, surviving that one. Kabuki trying to buy time as well, popping Kyrie's immortality. What an engage again! No moment. Now though, they sold the endless battle, bought the immortality, popped it, sells the immortality, and we'll have a, an item. It's already opening up the map, looking for another possible. Set up onto the Lord here. Boots already opened up the map as well as Keyboy. As Keyboy has actually built that Brute Force breastplate, so a little bit more sustainability. I wonder what he sold to get that. But oh. look at this card in the back line. Again, forcing Base Hugger to pop that black shoes early. Again, they need to exploit this information. Keyboy trying to open the map again. Base Hugger should be their main prio. Hence, no alt from this guy, but it seems like our fire can just, just defend well. CW's been insane though, right? He's been able to wait to take him down and maybe that's what Fluffy has been trying to do. But he hasn't been able to do that successfully just yet. But look at this, Lord already half out. Lord or a fire, they are going to commit on towards this one, but it seems like now Keyboy was caught. Mortality, no. Keyboy gets taken down, and Kyrie trying to find the plant in the sides. Lord Evolve, high, popping that full oh, legs on towards Boots, flickers away. Face Hugger, though, where's very low? The Trion looks 
taking down the broadcast. Mid laners fall. All right. Will have that immortal Kyrie. Will not be able to find the one. A shadow kill finds the shutdown. Finds the double. Finds the triple. Kyrie is massive in this game. Wow. wow. What a performance time. You think it's a mistake? No, it's calculated by Kyrie, the future himself. Oh, and he's going back in once again onto Kabuki here. And he and here. Take a look. Oh, he will overcommit on towards this one. Omni, what a shadow of the world. But for sure, nobody doubts the potential that Kyrie has and the impact that he has, especially on the Hayabusa. Which is why I mentioned the link compared to the Hayabusa. I take the link any day. Kyrie's just too fast on the higher. What yeah. is wrong, right? I don't know what I choose. I just ban both. Right? Yeah, it's not him. Ban Kyrie. That's what Echo did, and that's how they won. Wait, there's a fight. We are dragon connecting all to his puppy. He will survive that one, but fatally connects all to his suit. I will die, though. But now, take a look at the backside. Fluffy will be taken down by Kyrie. More than enough damage was given. Mega kill secured. Now the Lord, they need to focus on this one. Can or fight with number three. On oh, it's just too strong for now. As form is temporary, the class is burning. Radio two and one with the 